When it comes to catfish bait, nothing beats shad. Whether you're using it live or cut up, fresh shad will attract more catfish to your line. Of course, that is just my opinion. Um, for you skipjack fans, don't spam the dislike button yet. The reason I put shad above skipjack is just numbers. Uh, you could go to your local pond or, or river or lake um, to catch shad. Most people aren't very close to places that have skipjack, so that's why I put shad above. It's just easier to get. So with that little disclaimer out of the way, the keyword you need to remember is that fresh shad is going to attract more catfish to your line. You can use frozen shad, but I found that if it's thawed and then frozen again more than one time, it just kind of, I don't know, just kind of loses a little something. I don't know if the, the oils degrade or whatever. It just kind of falls apart. So if you want to use the best bait you can, you need to be able to find fresh shad. So if fresh shad is the ticket to consistently catching more catfish, you gotta know where to find them. So that is why we are going over five great places to consistently find shad. And the first place to look is in the back of shallow bays. The backs of shallow bays are great places to find shad because typically in those areas there is more algae growth. There's just more habitat for them so they're likely to pile up back there. And if you can find a shallow bay that also has a feeder creek coming into it, you can bet there are definitely some shad in there. And the second place to find shad is probably the most popular place to look, and that is marinas. Marinas are attracted to shad because there's just lots of food there. Um, and they're also really attracted to those, to those lights. Um, you may have to bounce around a bit, but if you throw your net close to the docks, you can fill up your bait bucket in no time. The third place to look for shad is in the creek mouths of rivers. I sort of mentioned this one up when I was talking about shallow shallow bays where they've got feeder creeks in, but these are a little bit bigger. Um, if the current is moving, a, you know, pretty quickly in that feeder creek, you know, shad are going to bunch up there to get a little fresh water. But also, when that current from that creek meets the current of the river, it creates eddies, and those eddies create little pockets of slower moving current. It gives them a place to hide. They get a little refuge from from having to fight so hard to stay in one place. And it also helps group them up too. The fourth place to look is bridge pillars. This one is kind of similar to the marinas in that the surface of the bridge pillars promotes algae growth, so they're going to be there feeding on all that. Plus, if there's a decent amount of current, the bridge pillars are going to act as a current stop, creating a little eddy in the back, so they'll be there in the slack water. So throw your cast net behind that. Um, you may want a cast net that's got a decent amount of, of rope on it so you can really get down deep. And the fifth place to look is in water discharge on power plants and factories along the river. You can find shad in water discharges any time of the year, but these places are very good spots when the water temp is down. That water is used to cool factory and power plant equipment, so it's going to be at least a few degrees hotter. And that you know, even one degrees makes a big difference for shad, so they're going to pile up in there. You kind of have to be careful when you're when you're going to these, because some, you know, especially the power plants, they've got, it, you know, you're not allowed to get within a certain distance of some spots. So you kind of have to pay attention to the signs on the banks, so be careful of that. But if you're allowed there, you can really fill up your boat. I mean, you could throw one one cast one time and and have enough bait to last you like a month. So those were five great places to look for shad. You have to remember though that catching bait is, is just like fishing. I mean, there may be times that you throw your cast net a couple times and you've got plenty of bait, but then there are other times you've got you to throw your cast net a hundred times just for a handful. If you've got more tips for, for catching shad, leave those down in the comments below. You wouldn't believe how much helpful information you can get off the, the comments on a video. Um, sometimes it's more helpful than the video itself. So hopefully mine's not one of those. Hit that like button if you like this video, if you like what I'm trying to do here on this channel, and also share the videos. It really helps the channel grow. Um, we're pushing 300 subscribers, which, you know, isn't a whole lot compared to other things, but can't compare yourself to other people. You just got to compare yourself to you yesterday, and that got a little weird. So with all that said, all that weird self-help kind of crap, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified of when I upload. Uh, YouTube's not so good about letting you know when a channel you subscribe to uploads unless you hit that bell notification. So make sure you do that if you want to stay informed.